Hello, I'm Captain Andrea. And I'm Commander Matthew. And welcome back to Trek Back Tuesday. This is the show that seeks out new and old Star Trek toys and Star Trek merchandise that we can show you here in Nerd News Today. And what do we have today, Commander Matthew? Well, today, Captain, we have from 2006, coming to us from Diamond Select Toys and Art Asylum, Lieutenant Commander Geordi LaForge. So this is in the classic packaging we've seen come from DST and Art Asylum. Uh, it's very similar to what we looked at with the Lieutenant Barclay figure recently as well. Uh, in that it's not just a square pack, it's kind of this rectangular size over here, but this nice big circle over here. It's a very unique shape for a toy. Now, most of the packaging you'll note with this particular gear and a lot of diamond figures in general is that uh, they basically reuse the same cardboard backing and front. The only thing that's going to be customized is this piece right here, which says the character's name. Otherwise, identical to everything else in the series. Good to know. And on the back, there's not much, <laughs> let's be honest. You got a little bit of a recap as to what TNG is about. You have a little bit about Diamond and Art Asylum, but you don't really have a character bio. What you do, however, have is they show who's going to be in the this wave. Uh, you have Data, Lore, Geordi, and Lieutenant Barkley. Commander Matthew, prepare to beam Geordi out. Hi, Captain. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander LaForge is on deck and reporting for duty, Captain. Let's take a look at him. So let's start with that likeness, and that is a fine LeVar Burton likeness. That is a wonderful LeVar Burton likeness. I'd call that a perfect 10. I think I would too. It's got a real amazing likeness. The sculpt in the hair, you also have to note too. Like this mm -hmm. is, They just got everything right with this face. Jordy also has his engineering uniform on here in that classic mustard color. Mm -hmm. But one thing we do have to note here, this is a figure from 2006. And we looked at other figures from this line, from this era. They're not as crusty as this figure is, because this figure's been through some legit war, it looks like. Um, I don't think crusty is the word that we want to use for this. It's one of the many words I can use for this figure. The word we're looking for is sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. We have never encountered a, a figure this sticky. Now, we have never had a, a figure this sticky before. No, I mean, his butt is melting. So I don't know what went on with this figure. Uh, these must have just been sitting in a warehouse, in a really poorly kept warehouse, because not only is his butt, like, literally, it is, that is stick. That is actual stick. You can... Yeah, it, was, it does not feel good, people. It does not. But in addition to that, you can see a lot of paint has come off his arms, and his legs, it's like chipped away on his hands especially. This is not a good Geordi figure, just because of how poorly maintained it was, and that makes me wonder about this whole line, you know, the longevity of these figures once they're out of the box. I know late in later waves, their, the longevity is definitely better. I know that because I happen to have a couple, but yeah, maybe it's the paint because they did use a different material moving forward, it felt yeah. like. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Definitely be aware when you buy them. Take a good long look at your Geordies. Yes, this is definitely something you need to be very careful with. And be careful how you store them. Yeah, that's I mean, the big thing. Yeah, I mean, not that you really need us to tell you that if you're a collector, but this definitely needs some extra <laughs> care. So one of the things we noted too is that with Jordy's head, uh, with the Playmates version, what we looked at recently, uh, we found that the visor is removable. Yes. This one, I think, you know, this one I'm concerned about is I'm trying to get it off now and it's not coming off. So I'm assuming it's not removable, but then considering how messed up this toy is and how melted it got, I'm wondering if it just melted onto his face. We're not 100% sure because when we look over, it's very difficult for us to show you, but when we look over the visor, we can actually see his eyes and they are definitely painted white. Yeah, I like it. So we're not 100% sure whether or not this can come off because we were also, as we were um, playing with it, we did feel a little bit of give. So it's very similar to the Playmates in that sense and how the visor looks and where it looks like it's attached, but we just, we don't know if it'll actually come off. Yeah, and I'm definitely worried that if it does come off, it's gonna be a lot of paint that comes off with it, so. Yeah, and you might never be able to get it back on. So that might be an experiment that you'll have to run when you get this Jordy in your own collection. Yeah. So let's talk articulation. He has a mixed bag of articulation here. He's got a really stiff neck, but it does, it does have a ball joint. He's got ball jointed shoulders. We've got the classic bicep, bicep swivel. His wrists move one direction in, half, in, these, uh, in these circles. His waist bends. It had a nice snap to it. His waist rotates. His legs can go up and down. And his knees can also knee and his feet can move up and down as well so not a bad amount of articulation the one thing you can say about these art asylum and diamond figures is that they're very good at standing up straight uh, and they can hold positions they could sit in chairs which they do they did eventually make a chair or two for dynamic poses though you don't really get a lot of dynamism with these figures but to be fair 
there wasn't a lot of dynamic stuff that you can do with them, especially with a with a character like Jordy. I mean, th this is a great way to segue into his accessories. He does not come with much. He comes with his tricorder, which is fun, but it's the exact same tricorder that we saw with Lieutenant Barkley. And basically all the figures have the tricorder, so yeah. it's nothing new there. It's nothing new. It still looks great. It's still uh, a very, very pretty tricorder. Yeah. Uh, but And he also comes with, again, just like Lieutenant Barkley, he comes with his toolkit. In fact, we should mention that here's Lieutenant Barkley. Let's put them side by side. They're more or less the same figure, and that's to be expected with these toys because they're just recycling the same uniform, they're repainting it, mm -hmm. just putting on different heads. That's fine, that's normal, but it's kind of funny that they're both in the same series and they both come with the exact same accessories. They do, though I do want to point out, they did make it so that Lieutenant Barkley is a little taller than, than Jordy. Nice. Mm -hmm. At least that's a fun you know, detail that they put in. Yeah. You know, while there is a lack of dynamic poseability, when you have accessories like this, and clearly they don't expect him to be doing much anyway, so it's kind of, uh, what are you going to be using him for? The LaForge maneuver. Whoa, whoa, and he made it out of engineering safely. Jordy's way better than that. He yeah. deserves more than, he, he deserves more than what he just did. All sticky butt LaForge. Sticky butt LaForge, yes. Speaking of sticky butt LaForge, let's compare him to the Playmates figure. So, you mean the one that this one is completely modeled after? Yes. So this is from the very first series of Playmates figures from 1992. And we're comparing them now to this 2006 figure. So you can kind of see the differences between the two. Obviously, scale is the first major difference. It's basically like his son. He could hold his hand, in fact. Mm -hmm. They're going to go tape an episode of Reading Rainbow together. Aww. He's like, come with me, little Jordy. Come with me. <laughs> Papa, can I have ice cream? Not until you finished your reading. So which one had the better likeness is the question. So I will say one thing about the Playmates toys in particular, and probably because of it's a sign of the times. Look at the skin color difference. Mm -hmm. Which one do you think is more accurate? I'd say Art Asylum, absolutely. Yeah. For, well, actually, I was going to say for whatever reason, but we know the reason why. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of black characters did not get their proper skin tone. It wouldn't be for a few years later that we'd see them start to get more accurate to what they are, but for every reason, they really lightened up their skin tones with the Playmates series. So for more accurate skin color, definitely Diamond and Art Asylum. Yeah, I mean, it's still an issue that, you know, exists today, but there are companies out there that are actively trying to make things better. Yes, yeah, much improved. They both have great faces. I don't think I could easily, in terms of likeness, you know, skin tone aside, I don't think I could easily choose between which one I think is better because they're both excellent, you know, sculpts. It's clear that the Art Asylum one is based off of the Playmates one. I think they did a bang up job making it a larger scale, you know, because sometimes that stuff can get very sloppy looking, it, you know, when they change scales. But in this case, Art Asylum rocked it. Yeah, they're both very, very good Jordan the Forge figures. You know, really, if you added both to your collection, you'd be happy either way. There's yeah. really no loser here. Yeah, I mean, basically, Art Asylum is for, you know, the standing collection, you know, for display. And Playmates is great for, you know, action. Yeah, pretty much. And there he is with his accessories in hand, looking like he's ready to go on a mission. Yeah, mission to uh, fix the warp core or hang out with the uh, holodeck version of Dr. Brahms, which explains why he and Barkley got along together so well. Yeah, well... They're both perverts for holodeck stuff. But overall, it's a really, really good looking figure. I will say just buyer beware, because these are from 2006. I can't believe it's not a problem with older figures from Playmates, but yeah. for whatever reason, these figures in particular, you gotta watch out for, I guess, because they will melt and chip apart. And that was in box for, you know, mm. basically over 10 years. Sticky butt LaForge. Yeah, so granted, you can't really tell the butt is a problem from behind, no. but um, just beware. I'm gonna try and give this a bath with some soap, and we'll see if that can actually wipe off some of this stuff. It should be able to take care of a little bit of the residue. Yeah. Here's hoping. Yeah. And with that, I'm Captain Andrea. And I'm Commander Matthew. We'll see you next time on Trek Back Tuesday. And until then, Live long and buy toys.